Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to take a look at some of the affordable lip, cheek and eyelid tints. I have picked brands which are like paraben free, sulfate free in a comparatively safer brands and I have like 8 of them to show to you today. I am sure you guys are gonna love this video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. First one is by the brand Iba. It is their must have everyday lip and cheek tint. The shade we have here is all time pink. It contains apricot kernel oil, rosehip oil, non toxic mineral colors, vitamin E. It is cruelty free and vegan. It has a nice vanilla like fragrance um, which is definitely added but still very soothing. The texture is more like a dewy creamy kind of finish. Um, it has a buildable pigmentation actually and uh, it's very smooth gliding on uh, the skin. You can very easily apply it. It does hide the lip pigmentation well as in it gives a very natural lip color which doesn't look like you have put on some lipstick. And it blends really very easily on the cheeks also. I love this color. This is like an everyday wear pink color which is not too over the top but I really like that glow. It is that color which will suit most of the skin tones as well. The second one is by the brand Skin Works Lip and Cheek Tint. The shade is Cutie Pink. So this one contains candelilla wax, shea, vitamin E, sweet almond oil, etc. This one does not have any particular fragrance as such, but it is very creamy um, and it's kind of like a very very dewy finish. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a very much buildable shade, but the thing is, I was really surprised priced when I put it on my lips because um, it showed up really nice. Um, it is like a tomato red kind of color. It hides pigmentation really well. It is actually a very dark kind of shade. None of these tints really leave behind the tint as such if you remove it. So that is one thing. But it blends beautifully on the cheeks like that. That Initially it would look like oh my god I've applied so much tint. But once you just blend it out it looks very natural and I like that that reddish glow on my cheeks. So this one is a favorite because this color is very easy to blend and it's a very good replacement for a lipstick. The next one is by the band Love Earth. It is their Seize the Day Multi Pot. Creamy matte finish which they call it for lip, cheeks and eyelids. This I have seen so many good reviews. It has castor oil, jojoba, candelilla, beeswax, rosemary, carnauba wax etc. So I picked this shade called Seize the Day. It's a beautiful mauveish kind of shade. It has a matte finish not fully drying matte but when i swatched it once on my hand i could see that the the color payoff is really excellent in one swipe on the lips um it will appear more of a mauveish kind of shade if you have pigmented lips like mine but as i said it's very comfortable to wear it does not dry out your lips and it's it's a beautiful color it's not like you have put on some lipstick but very nice on the cheeks it will blend nicely but since it is a matte finish just blend it out as soon as possible and yeah it doesn't leave behind any shine on the cheeks as such uh, it's good actually i feel the matte kind of tints are suitable for oily skin because otherwise it might look like your cheek is shining which i really do not like but then this multi pot is a beautiful product the next one is by body gold it is the lip and cheek tint in the variant rose five grams of the product it's a tiny uh, tub it has the smell of freshly bloomed roses which i love now when i swatched it on my hand i felt that it was very sheer it's not exactly a buildable tint because it's very sheer but once when i applied on my lips i found that uh, it is not really that sheer as in it will look like a very natural lip color even on pigmented lips you can apply it with your fingers or with a brush but i feel brush is better in this case and it was very non-drying obviously felt very lightweight and as cheek tint it was very easy to blend because of this sheerness you can build the color but in one coat itself i got like this very natural healthy glow but if it's like a party wear look then you can um, go for one more layer and it will look darker not darker it will look like cheekier it's nice it's very nice it's a beautiful flushed up look so overall this one is good especially if you like the smell of roses you are gonna love this tint by body gold now the next one is by the brand Bella Vita. It is their Tinty which is for eye, cheeks and lips. I picked the shade Red Grape. So this one is again um, cruelty free. And yeah it comes with a small brush also an applicator which is what I am using for all of my lip tints. So it's a very nice simple packaging. It contains shea butter, almond oil, natural wax and cocoa butter. And um, it has a matte like finish when you apply it. It's not very creamy but it's it's smooth like it glides smoothly it's not a problem you can build the shade also um, because it is like very 
thick um, it's easy to apply it as a like an eyeshadow or as a lip tint um, you will have to blend it out a little bit if you are using it like an eyeshadow or on the cheeks because of its matte like texture but then it's not like a drying matte it's more like a more matte and less creamy kind of texture i like the fact that it shows up despite not hiding my dark circle so on a well prepped eye area it will show up even better and it blends very beautifully on the cheeks also it doesn't have any detectable fragrance as such and it's very easy to remove also even though it is matte the difference is very evident and tinty is a good option to go for the next one is by glam very it is the tint in the shade muse it's like a stain mostly uh, so i wouldn't apply it on my cheeks because it does leave a stain so be careful about that now muse is a very very beautiful shade if you are someone who likes a long lasting tint on your lips but you have dry lips so you do not want uh, mattifying lipsticks then the glam very tint is something that you can try i mean in one swipe the color payoff is just excellent but it leaves behind a tint even if you remove it with an oil based cleanser or a micellar water um there will be a tint if it's a good thing or a bad thing i don't know it depends on what you like but sometimes when i'm going for a party or something then i would want my lip tint to uh, to survive a meal so that way i would really prefer glam very then i tried the lip and cheek tint by earth rhythm so this is one of their best sellers and the shade that i have here is brandy so this one is like a, a liquid like tint very much uh, similar to those korean lip tints it comes in a nice plastic bottle kind of packaging a small door foot applicator it's not a shade that you can really build up because it's yeah it's like a viscous like a liquid like texture it has a very nice fragrance and it is very soothing on the lips even for dry lips it's good it doesn't dry out um and it doesn't really leave behind a stain i mean if you wipe it off yeah you could see some kind of a stain but if it is a pigmented lip then may not be but as a tint for the cheeks it it's really beautiful like it blends very well and you have a few color options also pinks reds and all but brandy is a very beautiful color and personally i like how it looks so this is again another favorite of mine this was gifted and i totally love it then there is a scandy melt lip balm by plum it's a vegan one so this is the variant red velvet love now this is basically a lip balm but they say that the intensity of the tint is good enough to be a lip tint so i tried it now because it's a lip balm it's quite waxy in texture because it's like a very hydrating lip uh, balm so beware of that waxiness now uh, on my lips it does show up but it's not like a very even finish because obviously it's it's like a lip tint you can apply it with a brush and whenever the finish is uneven i prefer to apply it with a brush that's my idea of making it more even it's very it smells really nice but it doesn't really have any taste of red velvet or anything i really like the smell of it now it surprised me as a lip tint because i mean as a cheek tint because it blends beautifully the only thing is that since it is waxy you might want to set your cheek area with a setting powder because unlike the previous lip tints this one does have a slight sticky feeling to it because it's a waxy lip balm so just be careful about that but otherwise red velvet is a beautiful shade and i think you can just try this one i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know which are your favorite lip tints i mean a lot i would love to know i can't honestly choose a favorite but i think all the heavily pigmented ones are my favorite so that's it we will meet again with another the next video is going to be affordable face washes and i'm sure you're going to love that as well so we will meet again until then take care bye